Mr. McPherson had a history of mental health problems. Mark Morissette is representing officers Ryan Harding and Matthew O'Connor. He says Ian McPherson, the man who pulled the trigger, was involuntary committed and had a domestic dispute with his father. Morissette also said a Merrimack police detective told the Department of Public Safety he would be concerned if McPherson had a gun, but that claim wasn't looked into. In denying, denying the right to bear arms. And so in order to do that, we need to have those underlying, that other underlying evidence to deny that conviction. The Department of Safety says at the time of the background check, Ian McPherson had no federal or state disqualifiers to prohibit him from getting a firearm. Gun dealers ultimately they rely on the background check system. Chester's arms attorney says gun shops have set protocols from the state and federal governments that they must follow to sell a firearm. Had Ian McPherson not criminally shot the plaintiffs while they honorably served in the line of duty, there would be no case at all. There would be no damages. But Morissette rebutted, saying the red flags were there and they should have been thoroughly checked out before issuing McPherson a firearm. The Second Amendment should be honored, but it shouldn't put a weapon in the hands of someone who's incompetent. The Supreme Court justices will consider the case and at some point make a ruling. We're live in the newsroom, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.